Did you bring back Mabuhay Festival next year? Yes! Oh! Yeah, that's one thing. I missed out on Mabu We missed out on Mabuhay Festival. There's a, like a lot of Filipino Americans that are actually coming out in popular media now. And so, I mean, it might be a little difficult to get headliners, but it, I think it'd be really good for USC and for Troy Phi to come out with Mabuhay Festival again. And that sh should be something that's really thought about. Yes? Uh, you mentioned the fact that you don't live on campus. Does the fact that you do commute present any issue with your responsibilities being on board, and especially programming director, since that is uh, one of the jobs that has a lot more than, say, like a lot of load? Well, even though I commute, I do stay on campus later. Well, this year I've stayed on campus later than usual because I wanted to like become more involved in USC Life and Troy Fight Life. And even though I commute and I will be continuing, like I will continue on commuting the next year, program director, yes, it is important for me to be here on campus. Yes, it is important for me to be able to communicate with my other e members. But I can also do that via like Skype, Vivo, I, I still like what I think is most important is actually planning and getting everything done in appropriate time. Anyways. Yes. Um, one criticism <coughs> that some people have of the year to years with especially the general meetings in Troy Fi is that the meetings can be repetitive from year to year. Uh, do you have I guess what's your opinion on that and do you have any um, ideas on ways to switch it up or to be creative, or how would you, in, I guess, want to improve that? Oh, okay, well, um, something I actually wanted to do was actually have more family games, and not even like the same family game every week or have a family game every week, but like, just a surprise, there's gonna be a family game, and actually I wanted to do family games, so more families have an opportunity, like two, three, and four, to get the belt, <laughs> <laughs> one, to <laughs> save. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so I know you mentioned that it's being rigged, I guess, that <laughs> sorting of families. Um, mm -hmm. How would you distribute it, that, distribute it equally? Um, how would you do it differently? And same with Ate Kuya Ate, because I know there's been random pairings as well. Uh, for the Ate Kuya Ate, I actually had a very random pairing, which I, it was really critical. I mean, I was willing to be an Ate, but I had no idea who my outing was until the day they announced she's my outing. Um, I have, I don't have any regrets about Chloe being my outing. Maybe, except for the fact that I wasn't too en enthusiastic about it because I didn't know her at first. Um, so that's why I think the the speed dating is really crit critical for that point. Um, and doing the uh, the top three choices that uh, <coughs> that we've done previous semesters. For the distribution of uh, members, um, I know some families are getting smaller and sm smaller by the year, so I think for the first semester at least, it would be um, distributing them or distributing new members in order to build up smaller families. And then by, hopefully by spring, like everyone will still be coming out, everyone will still be active, and we'll be able to like randomize uh, just putting people into families. Uh, so the programming director is responsible for um, a number of high profile events such as formals and if it is decided that it's, it should be brought back, the Mabuhay Festival and the Troy Philippines Youth Conference. Mm -hmm. Can you give us more details on what event planning experience you have yeah, okay. Um, well, back in high school, I did help plan formals. Um, so it's actually crucial that um, speeches and whatnots don't go too long where the audience actually gets bored and that there's actually something to entertain the audience, like maybe a game in the middle of it. Um, food, it, food preparation or food availability that feed the palate of um, multiple people, like that's really crucial, but it all depends on budget and what I would be able to do with that budget. Um, for the Buhai Festival, 
because it has been it wasn't implemented this past year, um, I think I would have to do more research, uh, research in it, and um, look into uh, entertainment that could be possibly placed in. I do have contacts in like not the entertainment industry, but I do know people, and I would be able to get contacts. Um, Uh, and what, what was the other question for Mobu High Festival? I'm just, I was just wondering in general what experience you have. Oh, in, yeah, in general the experience I have is um, not essentially organizing what's going to happen at the event, but organizing event dates that would fit. That's what I've done before and then um, I've actually organized, uh, helped organize formals before. Thank you, Kirsten.